I need it. Okay. Alright, let me see. I'm just going to pin this loosely. Oh, no. I have to worry about it coming out. See? That don't hurt, do it? Alright. Sometimes. Are you comfortable? Okay. I'm comfortable with you, you. And remember. Okay. Another one. Lauren, I'm just going to introduce myself, then I'll start asking questions. Okay? Hi, and welcome to my channel, Shades of Sage, where I share all things motherhood. My name is Hashima. I'm a doula and mom of four. And today I am joined by Saya. <laughs> <laughs> so today I'm doing an interview with my daughter, Saya. She is five years old. And I didn't write down any questions for this video. I'm just going to ask her some questions off the top of my head. And we'll see how this goes. So you ready, Saya? <laughs> Okay, so Saya is going to be one year lot on her birthday, which is next week. How do you feel about that? Good. You feel good? Have you liked having locks so far this year? Yes. What have you liked most about it? I like when you wash my hair and my hair is smooth. You like when I wash your hair? She says she likes when I wash her hair. Really? Sometimes. Oh, I was about to say, because that's news to me. Yeah, but so she doesn't like having her hair washed in the sink, like in the kitchen sink. So if I run out of time or something and I need to do it quickly, I would do it in the sink. She doesn't like that. But what I have been doing lately is like playing like some of her favorite songs on my phone and making it like this music time for both of us. And she really has been enjoying that. So that's fun, right? Okay, so that leads me to my next question. My next question, what is your favorite movie? Elsa too. Elsa too. <laughs> That's also one of my favorite movies. I love that movie to death. Love it, love it, love everything about it. Um, why do you like Elsa so much? Because she is a queen and she has ice powers. Because she's a queen and she has ice powers. Do you like Frozen 1? You like that movie? Yeah, I like it. But you like the second movie more? Yeah. Why do you like the second movie more? Because, because she was a fish too. Because, oh, because she was the, you got to speak up so they can hear you. She was the? Uh, fifth spirit. She was the fifth spirit. Yes, that's my favorite part of the movie. So I might be rubbing off on her a little bit with this because that's my favorite part. But for those who haven't seen it, it's a great movie. Recommend it. Um, so yeah, Sayla loves Frozen everything, right? Yeah, yeah, all the princesses. She likes all the Disney princesses. <laughs> who else do you like? I like Moana. Moana, of course. Who else? Rapunzel. Rapunzel. So the new one, like the the Tangled movie, she she really likes that one. Anyone else? I get all of them. All of them. <laughs> I don't like Nomad movies. Oh, okay. Well, Nomad no. princesses. Sometimes I like them, sometimes I don't. Yeah, a lot. Of, they do have a lot of like magic in the movies. So yeah, that's what she was saying. But yeah, she likes almost all the Disney princesses. No, I get all of them. Like, you like all of them that you've seen. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, fine. She likes all of them then. Can they watch them today? All of them. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> so. Maybe I'm just going to watch Elsa. Maybe you're just going to watch Elsa? Elsa too. Elsa too. <laughs> What's the new movie that you've been liking? That being that movie that we was almost about to watch and you told me no. A new movie? Yeah, a new movie that we was almost about to watch and you and you get up that new movie. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, there's, there's a certain movie I won't let her watch because it has some things in it that uh, we don't promote. But um, what was uh, the movie that we watched recently, last night, as a family, that you really love? Uh, it's new. It's a new movie. I Come on. I it's Disenchanted. Disenchanted? How could she forget that? Yeah, she likes... um. She likes the new Disney movie, Disenchanted, which is a follow-up movie to Enchanted. And um, Enchanted was our movie back in the day. And they had never seen it because I'm like, I guess I just forgot about it. But yeah, so she does like that one. Right? Oh, and she had to ask you a question. Oh, what okay. one was number two and what one was number one? The first one is called Enchanted, right? Yes. And then the second one, the new one is called Disenchanted. So that's when she becomes the bad lady. Oh, yeah. number two. Yes, we already watched it three times. Yeah. Well, which one do you like better out of those? Number one. You like the first one more? I like the new one I do like. Number two? N yeah, the number two. And I the first one two. is 
is just a classic to me because it's really 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 original i feel like um so yeah, yeah. but she's still bad well she wasn't bad in the first one remember yeah and then annie's a daddy so those who have seen both movies let me know in the comments which one you like the most and if you do like either of those movies okay so of course as you know say is being homeschooled this is her first official year of homeschooling but i have been teaching them since forever and she's enrolled online and then we do supplemental stuff you know just whatever i feel like is lacking or that i feel she needs more practice on and everything so how do you feel about homeschooling good you feel good about it have you always felt good about homeschooling? Yes. You have? You sure? <laughs> I'm asking her these questions because sometimes she tells sometimes. me differently. Sometimes. Okay, so why sometimes? Sometimes because sometimes I just do all my work and I think I'm doing too much. I need a long break. Oh, she, she said she needed a long break. You just had a long break for yeah, winter. But that was just going to you know to the convention going to the convention, yeah. yeah she says she needs a long break well your next break is coming up in spring uh -huh. you can have another break but how do you feel about homeschooling versus say going to a, a regular school, school with with all other children how do you feel about that good is that good. something you want to do yes you want to go to school with the other one, children i want to really not know what it's gonna be mean to me mm -hmm. so sometimes right why did I always be saying You gotta speak that? up so everyone can hear you. Why did I always see someone saying that sometimes? Yeah, I think because you may feel a certain way about it, but you also feel different ways about it. But, no. so Saya, <laughs> Saya's funny, because she actually does want to go to public school, so she's not really my homeschooling supporter. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, but she's doing great with it so far. What's your favorite thing about homeschooling? And what? And playing with my friends, Dion. Playing with your friends? Yeah. During school? Well, no. Okay. When is playtime? When is playtime? Okay. So that's your favorite thing about homeschooling? Yes, playing around, but not why I'll be doing. Playing around play. and you said reading stories? Okay, what's your favorite story then? Uh, when the. When the. Uh, I think I like the Disney, but then I have upstairs. A Disney book. Okay, so she has a, a collection of Disney stories. I think it's Disney yeah. princesses stories yeah. Yeah. all together. So that's your favorite book? Yeah. Okay. Yes. I'm probably going to get her like another one of those for her birthday. What is your least favorite part about homeschooling? So what's something about homeschooling that you don't like maybe as much? Maybe I like... Something you don't I like. Maybe I just don't like... I really like nobody bullying me at school because sometimes I'm like, yeah, sometimes kids get bullied at school, but we're talking about homeschooling. So it's like, uh, yeah. So what don't you like about homeschooling? Something you don't like. I like when you I don't like something you don't like. It's so silly. Um, I'm yeah. trying to think of something that I know that she doesn't I don't like. I like when someone just does grab a ball on on my hand and just uh -huh. and just throw it and take it. No. When did someone ever do that to you? Well, I'm just saying in school. But you have school here at the house. No, I'm talking about when in school. You never gone to regular school. Yes, I am. When? When do you go to regular school? When I'm six or something. When you turn six? Or seven. Or seven? Okay. <laughs> I have to school. She does really want to go to public school. But anywho. <laughs> Why are there tires? I want to go there too. Where? College. College? Yeah, You're definitely going to college. That is a non-negotiable. <laughs> For all of them, they why? are all going to college. Why? Because. because why? <laughs> so I have a lot of discussions with Say about education and schooling and stuff. You can see that we're not on the, Definitely. we don't see eye to eye about everything. But, you know, I'm hoping that'll change in the future. Anywho, one of the things that I know she doesn't like about homeschooling, so a lot of the times I'll give her assignments. So, like, right now is everyone else's nap time so the boys are taking their nap and i will give her her work and i usually take a nap with the boys right so i'll give her her work to do by herself and then after nap i will look at her stuff 
see where she made mistakes or where she needs help with and then we'll go over it together and then we'll do lesson time all together with the boys included um so sometimes if it's something new or if it's something that she finds difficult uh, she gets really frustrated and she doesn't want to do it by herself like she wants me to do it with her Now a lot of times I like to see just what she knows without me helping her So that's why um, I prefer for her to do it alone But obviously if she's really 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 struggling with something then we'll do it together um, One of those things that I noticed or one of those do you remember what one of those things was? that you didn't like to do by yourself? The 100 worksheet. Yep, <laughs> the 100 worksheet, so. But now I'm doing better. So she has, yes, yeah, she has a worksheet that has all the numbers. Well, not all the numbers, it just shows the first row, so it like one so through one. 10. Right, oh, the number one, yeah, just the number one. And then you have to fill out the whole rest of it by yourself. That really, <laughs> really <laughs> used to get under her skin. Um, but now she can do it all by herself with hardly any mistakes. So you made so much sometimes. improvement. No, you can do it. It's just there's like minor mistakes yes, here and there. Like it's just the, the four going the wrong way sometimes. Or sometimes if she misses a number, then of course it makes all the rest of them wrong because she's still going in order. Um, but yeah, that was one of the things. What do you feel like you excel in? What do you do really, really good in school? Uh, I did under to really, really do it. Listen to it. <laughs> Listen to the teacher. <laughs> yeah, she does. She does do pretty good at listening and following instructions. So I can say that. What do you think that you had the most struggle with, or what gives you the most challenge with school? Math. Math. Okay. Because one plus seven, I don't even know what that is. One plus seven. So we are learning addition. We're working on that. So she has like one through five down pretty well. We're using our hands still to do that. We like, when, when I'm older, we like tell on. Yes, yeah, so now we are working on adding on, but adding on to numbers that are, well, more fingers than you have. So like I said, we've been working on addition with our fingers. So that's a little bit easier. So like saying, I don't know, like five plus two, you know, I have to put up five on this side and two on this side and then count them. Um, but now we're doing, of course, like, I don't know, 12 plus three, stuff like that. So I, I tell her, you can, you can still use your hands. We are still using our hands at this point, but I want to get to the point where she's memorizing it. But I know in school that they have this whole new system with math and it doesn't, oh it doesn't God. go based on memorization anymore. So Tiana, if you're watching, <laughs> <laughs> let me know that new system and how you feel about it what you think about it but for me I think I'm still going to teach them memorization and then uh when they get to the older grades maybe we can experiment with some different ways with the math and yeah we'll see how that goes but yeah for right now we're just doing that and then hopefully once they have you know like the basics memorized so be it'll go a little bit easier for them and we are slowly working our way up to subtraction um so that should be fun as well what else would you like to say about homeschooling or schooling in general what do you really like about i mean what do you really like that we've done so far maybe like some of the activities we've done any of those you can remember that I you really like? like for art time or I craft really time like when we you know uh you know did some rest because did the what? nobody needs that Get some rest. This girl still talking about getting some rest. You tired? No. You need to take a nap? I'm just saying on the, you know, regular days. On the regular days? Yeah. You want to take some rest? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sometimes people use that. Yeah, we do. We do. We do split up the home the homeschooling day. Um, so in the morning, they'll do their reading. Um, and then the afternoon, like this time, she'll do her stuff. And it usually takes you, how long, how long would you say it takes you to do your work? I think 20 hours. 20? 20? 20 hours they don't take no 20 hours it takes her i get her usually for the most part like three worksheets and that's i don't know maybe an hour maybe 45 minutes just depending on how fast she can get it done and then i allow her to have free time after that until we wake up from our nap so or no i do give her one video so like one educational supportive video to watch and then she can watch what she wants to watch after that so i tell her you know that's your alone time that's your quiet time to pretty much do what you want within reason right because we did have to pull youtube a little bit it was getting a little crazy on there because Mommy. i have not figured out a way to download youtube kids onto the tv and yeah you other parents out there, you know YouTube can get crazy if kids search certain things or look up certain things and then other things are suggested. So yeah, definitely keep an eye on that. Like I said, in the afternoon, we'll do something. So all together, 
oh, we might spend maybe three, maybe four hours on school time. Like Saya does her stuff every day, um, but I don't do the full lessons with everyone every day. It just really depends what I have going on throughout the week, you know, if I have time to come around to it. So I say she spends, for the most part, at least two to three hours doing schoolwork or learning every single day. So Monday through Friday, the weekends we do kind of take off for the most part, right? Okay, anything else about, how do you feel about reading? What's your favorite book? Did you tell us already? You did tell us your favorite book already, but how do you feel about reading? How's that going for you? Good. Okay, what are you working on right now as far as reading? Uh, sounding out my words. Sounding out words. That's I what have we're... to read word books because last time, mm -hmm. when I read this book, well, when it was morning time, I yes. was really need some help, so. You really need help with reading? Yeah, because mm -hmm. this time, I did not even pay attention. Mm -hmm. That's okay. We're learning. She's learning. <laughs> I'm a little hard on her, but it's just because I know she can do it. She's so, so smart and she does love reading, but now it's like, of course she knows all her letters and sounds, but now we got to put those sounds together. Um, and I know she'll get it because the stuff that we were learning in the beginning of the school year, so uh, we started a little bit earlier, but she's got a lot of that stuff now. So now the stuff that we're learning on or the stuff that I really want to concentrate on now, we're working our way up to her being proficient, right? Um, what have you really been liking so far with um, writing? I see you writing a lot. I uh, with my, uh, I know, sight words. Your sight words? My, <laughs> uh, you know, words that you give me, like, and, mm -hmm. or my sight words that you want me to write. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you write them for me, and right. I can write the rest. Yes. So that's one of the things we do is, uh, well, she does have uh, spelling words every week. So we're working on spelling, but she really likes to like write in her free time like that right there. I think I feel that. I like that. Can you got it? <laughs> you want to show them? So it's just one of her mini, no, no, just show them that. Yeah. One of her mini notebooks. She has a whole, a couple of books that she just, all day long, she'll be writing stuff, right? So why you like writing so much? Because it's fun to write and learn. It's fun to write and learn? Okay, nice. Do you, how do you feel about writing sentences? Do you like that? Yeah? <laughs> Can you write a sentence by yourself? Uh, Adam. What's that? What's this say? Let's one see. One plus two. One, one. Oh, one plus one equals two. Good. Excellent. And I could do another So, one. yeah, she'll just do that in her free time. Sometimes I'm, you know, cooking dinner or whatever around the house, and I'll come and see what she's doing, and she's writing. Like, she's writing words. She's just kind of, like, putting everything together that she learns, like, through lesson time, or if she sees a word around the house, she'll write it down. Sometimes she'll ask me what it is, um, and then, yeah, now she's writing her math uh, problems down, too. So that's really good. She does it on her own. So that definitely is great. Now, enough about school. School, pish posh, applesauce. Let's talk about some other stuff. Yay! Let's talk about... Barbie stuff. Barbies? Yeah, I love Barbies. Hold on, let me fix So you like Barbies? What kind of Barbies? Elsa Barbies. Elsa Barbies. <laughs> she watches this one channel on YouTube that takes regular Barbies and creates them into, like, you know, Disney princesses or things like that. So that's really cool. Maybe we can get you one of those and you can do that. I always say Elsa because it's in my mind now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what's your favorite food? Mm, I'm about to say Taylor's, but my whole bunch No, you don't have to say what you think I want you to say. Well, Tell me what your favorite food is. I ate Taylor's. You like carrots? Pasta. Okay. I ate oil. Hmm? Uh, I ate all of the sweet things and all your vegetables too. Well, sometimes. She don't like no vegetables. <laughs> I love carrots. What? <sighs> Do you like eggs, Sam? Yes. Do you love them? Yes. You eat them all the time? Yes. Okay. So far as I know, eggs and rice are her favorite foods. What's your favorite dessert? Ice cream and cake. Ice cream and cake. What's your favorite ice cream then? Vanilla and dark chocolate. Vanilla and dark chocolate. Okay, I love chocolate anything. So, yeah, dark yeah, chocolate. chocolate ice cream. I do. I love chocolate. I had some chocolate ice cream last night. Yeah, I 
I can't. <laughs> I can't do it. But yeah, she loves um ice cream. Saya has always loved ice cream. What else do you? If I eat it fast, I will definitely get ice cream. If you eat it fast, yeah, you will. What is your favorite what? um? What I is your favorite eat... meal? Meal? Yeah. Uh, I think bow tie pasta. Oh, bow tie meatballs, pasta. Okay, meatballs mm -hmm. and layer pasta. What's that other pasta that you really really like? Spaghetti and meatballs? Spaghetti. They do love spaghetti and meatballs. I could cook that probably every night and they'll eat it. When I and cook it, I cook a big pot. I'm looking at it in the kitchen. Um, And yeah, the whole house loves that. What about something that starts with an M? It's I a swear. pasta. No. Hmm. Blanky, blank, and blank. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? Blanky, blank, and blank. It's pretty much like all kids' favorite. That's what? No, mm. it's a pasta with cheese. <laughs> with that pasta? No, <laughs> macaroni and cheese. What? Oh my gosh, macaroni and cheese. <laughs> cheese. Macaroni and cheese. These kids love macaroni and cheese. Say it. Love macaroni and cheese, right? Right? Usually if we're out and we're in a pinch, I will go to Wawa and get like that big carton of macaroni. You like that? The big one? Yeah, like that. <laughs> Oh, macaroni and cheese. Not that big. And <laughs> that's um, a cake. Yeah, cakes can be that big. And what else? And um, chicken tenders, right? Cake. Chicken tenders. Yeah, that's yeah. like our go-to meal if we're out and about and we just need something fast and quick. Chicken that's chicken usually chicken. what I get. Yeah. Well, they can be different sizes. Some chicken tenders. Those, I like the yeah. ones that are like I, I don't know how to describe it. Because Wawa mean, actually does not have my favorite chicken tenders. Those are actually kind of disgusting. Oh, but the kids like them. But the ones, they're breaded, but not grainy breaded. So not like panko breaded, but the other kind. Those are the better ones. Oh, so I do not have a question for you. Oh, you have a question for me? Why are everybody trying to take over my video? What, what's your question? My question is, why do I... Uh, why do we have to sign Ben something on the beach? Why do we have to do what? Ben sunscreen. Sun sunscreen? Yeah. On the beach? It protects your skin from the UV rays, from the light of the sun, the rays of the sun. Oh. So, so if you don't put that on, on, you can, your skin yeah. can heat up and you can get sunburned. Oh, no. Yeah, that's not good. Some people get sunburned. Yeah, some people don't have them. Yep. Yeah. So it's good to put it on. Know. It keeps you protected. It's kind of like putting shades so on your eyes. It keeps your eyes protected in the sun too. Oh, so that's why everybody. So that's why everybody buying sun now. <laughs> I don't know. Are they? I actually yeah. just noticed sunscreen when I went to Target the other day, and it was this whole big aisle, and I'm like, I wonder how many people actually buy this. I never noticed it before. Did you did? I did. Mm -hmm. Did you buy it? No, I didn't buy any. I won't need to until this summer. <laughs> I'll buy some more. But what is, how do you feel about being the oldest? Great. You feel great? <laughs> Why do you feel great about being the oldest? Because I didn't have all your present. I didn't have so much fun. Yeah, she does get to have so much fun. Especially also because she's the only girl. But how do you feel about that? How do you feel about being the only girl? Yeah, because I don't need my baby sister anymore. You don't need her anymore? No. Oh, okay. Awesome. But I'm still going to play you. <laughs> Saya is so funny. Okay. So you don't need a baby sister anymore? No. Okay. So you love your three younger brothers? Yes. What's the best part about being the oldest of three little boys? Good. Now, what's the best part? Well, the best part is when I can play with them and I can do so much stuff with them. Mm -hmm. What I do the boys like to do stuff? that you like to do with them? Oh, you can buy them stuff? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I can just, and I can go with the store with you and buy them fireman and starter. Mm -hmm. And you can buy me us stuff. All yes. of those stuff that I can do with the boys. Yeah. That is fun, right? You like playing with them? And say especially loves picking up the baby. Even when I don't want her to. Of course, she's a little bit better now. Yeah, and he's yeah, bigger yeah. now, so not that much of a risk of him falling. But, yeah, she just loves to just grab him, pick him up, all that stuff. And he loves it, too. They just, they both love it. Because <laughs> I love him so much. Yeah, she does. Any other questions? Any other things you want to tell the people about yeah. yourself? 
I don't know how. Uh, how do you feel about this hairstyle? Do you like it? You love it? And I know how you spell Sunwood. What word do you want to spell for the people? Is our last name. What word so. would you like to spell? Huh? So. So? Okay, go ahead and spell it. S O. Perfect. <laughs> and now N A N D. Okay, anything else you know how to spell? And you can count to 100, right? Do you they take you one. It's going to take long? Because I have to tell for all your letters to 100. If you would like to, you can. But you don't have to. Right. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 50, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 57, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Woo! You did it, girl. You got it. <laughs> that didn't take that long, right? Yeah. Just I, a minute or so. A minute and a half, probably. Yeah. Perfect. So, that is all for today. That's all for our little interview with Miss Saya. I do plan on doing an interview Ms. with Matthias. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> with Matthias. Okay. Elsa. <laughs> And maybe even Kenzo. We'll see how he sits for his. If you know, if you never see a video with Kenzo, you know it did not go well. So <laughs> that's all that we have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so the camera's right here. If you can look there to answer your questions, okay? All right. Okay. So um, I'm just gonna ask you some regular questions, and you can answer them how you want to. Alright, you ready? Okay. I love you, Mom. I love you most. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> Let me show my hair is okay. It's really just doing what it wants to do today. Your hair looks perfect and beautiful. <clears throat> just making sure it's working. Okay. And remember, you can say you can look right there. Alright. One, two, three. Testing one, two, three. This should be my first question. Yes, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think what, what my first question should be. All right, let me just think. Let me think. Okay, she was this <laughs> tongue twister. And my one thing is sitting down and moving. What was the first part? I didn't hear that. <laughs> I do not yet when someone uh, says, just say, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to say. Mommy! Um, <laughs> yes. What? Did. Did? Okay, go ahead. So, D. D, D and O? Yeah. What's that? D. D? O? Yeah. Spells? D. What? D. <laughs> it's a yellow. D? Okay. What are you talking about? It's a yellow of the alphabet. D is a letter of the alphabet. Thank you.